Nityanandam. Sorry, I'm so overwhelmed looking at my face. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> I'm Yamini, uh, and I'm basically from Dubai, currently residing in Bangalore. Um, I had to pursue my post-graduation this year. I quit my job, and uh, because of all this circus, I had an unnecessary argument with my father. And uh, so he just politely, I mean, not politely, but uh, he just clearly asked me not to come back home ever again <laughs> and to like get out of his house. So uh, I basically needed a vacation. I needed a getaway. And so my aunt, she suggested that I do the inner awakening. She's here right now. <laughs> and, uh, and when she was enriching me, I just felt that, you know, I need an escape. So she's providing me the escape. So I just, you know, grabbed the opportunity. So the first day of my vacation wasn't exactly like a vacation. <laughs> I came in here and I saw people, who, I mean, boring people who were trying to find solutions of their life, whereas I was here for a vacation. And <laughs> And uh, it, 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 for me, it was like the, the first half of the day was, I couldn't like, I, I just wanted to be like, why am I even here? I'm not even that old and I don't have that big problems, aside from the fact that my father threw me out of the house. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so basically, and, and I was in for a big surprise because Swamiji is not the, the kind of person, I mean, I expected him to be. <laughs> he is a live wire, just like all of us. And he just sits away from us, but once the sessions start, he becomes just one of us. And I love the personal experience he shares with all of us, the, the relationship. I mean, I feel so strongly connected to him. So, I mean, every time I want to go to the mic and ask a question, I forget the question, and I have to come back and sit down. And, <laughs> and uh, otherwise, like, even before I ask a question, I get the answer. So. My first day was like an intense experience because I felt the connection to him. And though I wasn't, you know, into um, Swamiji, I, I used to listen to satsangs, but I've never prayed in my life, only during Diwali or whatever, like all those festivals. I used to like attend the temple. I mean, go to the temple and pray to God. But otherwise, I haven't been a spiritual person. And the best part, I mean, I was very concerned about the food I, I get here because I'm very particular about the food and like I eat a lot. So, uh, and I'm not a vegetarian. But as soon as I came, I was complaining to my aunt that I'm, how, am I, how will I survive without non-veg? But the kind of variety I get here, I've forgotten that I'm a non-vegetarian and I prefer to be a vegetarian now. And um, the other thing I wanted to share was the Kala Bhairava Darshan. Uh, I'm really scared to go alone to the deity, so I went alone one day and then uh, I forgot to tell Swamiji something during the darshan. So I went up to the Kala, Kala Bhairava temple and I, I was speaking to Kala Bhairava and it was like, like Swamiji says, connect with him. So I just saw Swamiji in Kala Bhairava and after I finished saying what I was telling Kala Bhairava, the bell started ringing. I couldn't sleep that night, I had goosebumps because I've never experienced, this was basically magic to me. So I came back and I shared it with Swamiji. So that was the day um, when I thought that, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. And um, at, at that evening also, um, just at the sight of him, I was lifted off the seat. And that's when I knew, okay, this is the Kundalini awakening that everyone's been talking about. And uh, 8th of October was basically the best day of my life. And uh, coming here has been, um, um, it wasn't an easy journey for me. I had a lot of incompletions with my parents and I went through a lot at home. And, uh, but after the completion process, my father seemed to talk to me like it was just a normal day. He did not fight with me or yell at me. And he provided the listening space, although he wasn't uh, okay with the fact that I'm here, but that's okay and it'll, he'll be okay with it anyways. Um, and. Uh, Surrendering to him is what I experienced here, like complete surrendering. And uh, my parents always say that, you know, oh, you never became a doctor, you never study, you're so lazy. But now I'm an initiated healer, so they can't complain. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, yeah, so the highlights of this program was complete. For me, I was like, how am I going to stay there on Saturday, Sunday? I can't go out. I'm just supposed to, even if I want to go out, I'm supposed to go to the Goshala, look at the cows and come back and look at the birds and trees. But the Maheshwara Puja, Diwali, he let us burst crackers. We danced all night and Kali Visarjan, we were dancing all night. And I, I remember Kali Visarjan, I had sprained both my right and left knee. But during the Kali Visarjan, I was dancing like, you know, there was no tomorrow and there was no pain and nothing. I danced all the way and I wasn't even tired. And after that, everyone was like, you can't come for yoga, but you can dance all the way for the Kali Visarjan. <laughs> and uh, after this, this my, I see my whole space has shifted. I do not want what I wanted. And he's completely changed the purpose of my being. I feel um, he's, give, he's provided me a sense of direction. And... Um, um, I no longer have the desires I had, although I still want a pet elephant. I, I just like elephants. So <laughs> and uh, and, I, and I always want that. So anyways, uh, this has been a beautiful journey for me. And I feel all those, um, all those people out there, I'm 22 years old. So all those people out there who feel spirituality is only for, you know, the old and the ones who are suffering with a lot of problems in life. Let me tell you that we have you know, more problems than the ones who are older to us. Like the little problems you think, oh, I fought with my boyfriend, he's not talking to me, or oh my God, my mother is such a demon. Like, trust me, they damage you the most. So once you come here, you get to complete with everyone, and it's such a beautiful space to be in. Today, everyone's like, oh, uh, you know, I miss home, I want to go home, but I just don't want to go home. So <laughs> uh, thank you, Swamiji, thank you so much, and uh, I wish I can come for another Renew Awakening. <laughs>